Today, we've got five more grammar mistakes that you probably didn't know you were making. Yes, and this is part two of the series. If you haven't seen the first video yet, then you should definitely have a look at that first. And as in the first video, I'm going to start each grammar mistake with a sentence and your challenge is to correct that sentence. And by the way, today I'm in London in Mount Street Gardens in Mayfair. And this place is incredible because it has a microclimate. Yes, that's right, when it's uh, cold and rainy everywhere else in the country, in Mount Street Gardens it's warm and sunny. Okay, well, slight exaggeration, but it does have some uh, palm trees that don't survive anywhere else in the country. Check it out. Anyway, it's a hot day here, so I'm off to get a uh, cold beer. So, see you in a moment. Are you ready for the first grammar challenge? Can you correct this sentence? Every day, I run in the park before I start work. Every day, I run in the park before I start work. If you want to say that you run for pleasure or as a leisure activity, then you say go running. Every day I go running in the park before I start work. I go running in the park, okay? In English, some activities can be done either for leisure or because you have to do it, okay? Or you need to do it. If it's for leisure, then you use the form go plus verb plus ing, okay? I go running. I go swimming every morning. I go skiing in the Alps every January. I go horse riding in the countryside on Sundays. If it's not for leisure, then don't use go. So I ran to catch my bus. Here you're running because you have to run, so you don't use go running. Uh, I fell in the river and I had to swim to the river bank. I live in the mountains and I have to ski to school in the next village. Here skiing is an obligation, so it's not a pleasure, so you use ski not go skiing. Uh, before cars many people rode horses to get around. When we're talking about walking, we usually use go for a walk. So, for example, I had a, I had a headache, so I went for a walk. But I usually walk to work, okay, without go. And remember, that this rule only applies when there are two possibilities, the leisure possibility and the necessity possibility, okay? If it is only a leisure activity then just use the verb without go so for example i play tennis every thursday never never i go playing ten tennis so tennis is always a leisure activity what's wrong with this sentence do you like baking cakes if yes you should watch my cooking channel do you like baking cakes? If yes, you should watch my cooking channel. So the correct sentence is, do you like baking cakes? If so, you should watch my cooking channel. You could also say, do you like baking cakes? If you do, you should watch my cooking channel. Okay, did you get that? So, in English, we usually just use yes in answering a direct question. So, for example, do you like my new haircut? Yes, I do, okay? That's okay. But in a sentence when you are referring to an earlier phrase that you made, then you can either say 
if so, or refer to the auxiliary verb in that phrase. Or if there's no, not an auxiliary, then just use do. It's easier if I give you some examples. Can you play the double bass? If you can, then you might want to join our jazz quintet. Are you under 24? If you are, then you are entitled to a young person's rail card, okay? And as I said, you can use if so in those examples too. Now, you can use if not, but not if no, to refer to an earlier phrase in the negative. So, for example, I hope to see you next week, and if not, then the week after, not if no, okay? And you can also use the same grammar for auxiliary verbs that we use in the affirmative sentences, okay, but with a negative. Uh, so, for example, I'll give you the same example as before. Uh, do you like cooking? If you don't, then you should buy our range of instant microwave meals. Can you play a musical instrument? If you can't, then how about learning one? So can you correct this sentence? I'm tired and I'm going to my home now. I'm tired and I'm going to my home now now. The correct sentence is, I'm tired and I'm going home now. Yes, that's right. Did you know that? Okay, so home is a noun, a place where you live, but home is also an adverb to mean at or to the place you live, okay? So, home doesn't have a preposition when we are talking about movement to or movement away from it. So you say, I'm going home. I'm leaving home. I arrived home late last night. So no preposition. And if you are at the place where you live, you can either say, I'm at home, or just say, I'm home. Okay, both are correct. Can you correct this sentence? Shall we go? Yes, we shall. Shall we go? Yes, we shall. Okay, so the correct answer is... Shall we go? Yes, let's. So in English, you respond to suggestions using shall we with let's. Shall we drink a beer? Yes, let's. Shall we go to Minsk for the weekend? Yes, let's. Now, if you, if you don't want to do it, just use let's not. So, uh, negative sentences, you're, you're, you're saying you don't want to do something that's been suggested, just use let's not, okay? Shall we listen to some Justin Bieber? No, let's not. Shall we jump off the bridge and into the river and then swim to the riverbank? No, let's not. Shall we do a bungee jump today? No, let's not, okay? Uh, for more on this, we have uh, a video about the difference between will and shall, and I'll put a link to that in the description. Can you correct this sentence? I forgot my keys at home. I forgot my keys at home. The correct answer is, I left my keys at home. I left my keys at home. In English, if you say the place where you forgot something, then you use the verb leave. If you don't say where you forgot something, then you use to forget. So I forgot my keys. Where did you leave them? I left my keys at home. I forgot 
the answer. I left my umbrella on the train. Okay, did you know that? Did you know that? Okay, that's it. So how many did you know? Let us know in the comments and thank you for watching. As always, stay mellow and see you in the next video.